Okay, so you're looking to analyze Canadian stocks, but you don't know where to get the stock data that you need in your Excel spreadsheet. In this video, I'm going to share with you the best way to get all the stock data that you need for Canadian stocks, including financials, key metrics, growth metrics, dividend data, live price data, and more all without the need to copy paste data on your Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so the best way to get Canadian stock data in Excel is to use Ysheets. So Ysheets is an add-on for Excel and Google Sheets. And the cool thing is that it allows you to get all the stock data that you need right on your spreadsheet. So for example, here you can search for any company that you like. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for Telus. So we type Telus. And then here there's different companies, right? So there's Telus, which is listed in the US, but the one that we're interested in is Telus.to. This is the one listed on the TSX. If you're wondering what's the ticker that I have to use to get Canadian stocks, usually the way it works is that you enter the ticker followed by that TO. But Ysheets uses the same symbol system as Yahoo Finance, so you can also use the same ticker as Yahoo Finance or just simply search it by company name and get the ticker like I did just now. Then what you can do is select annual or quarterly data. And then after that, click on get data. And what's going to happen is that automatically I'm going to close this so you can see this better. I'm going to select all these different tabs. So we'll go one by one, but automatically you're going to get the income statement, the balance sheet. So as you can see all this here, the cash flow statement, the key metrics, and the financial growth metrics right on your spreadsheet. And the best part is if I zoom right here is that the data goes back many, many years. So you can see in this case, the data goes back to 2003. So you have full freedom to be able to get all the data that you want. And yeah, you might be thinking right now, yeah, sure, this is a Ysheets channel. So of course they're gonna say Ysheets is the best option for me to get stock data for Canadian companies. But the reality is that as you will see in the video, Ysheets is the best option because it allows you to get the data in the format that you want. And it's also the most affordable option out there. So let me explain a little bit more about that. So instead of getting all the stock data at once, like you said before, the cool thing about Ysheets is that there's this Ys function. So if you go here, Ys function, this is a function that is pretty cool. As you can see, it takes the following information. So symbol, parameters, period, quarter. And what happens is that it provides you with the specific financial data that you're looking for. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we have a list of uh, Canadian companies right here. And here's a whole bunch of metrics and financial statement items that we're looking to get. So using the wise function, as you can see on this menu right here, what we could do is we enter a symbol, a list of parameters or one parameter. So in this case, we're going to get them all. And then we're going to lock them in. So that way we can drag the function and get all the data for all the different kind of companies we have. And the period that we will use is TTM. This is the trailing 12 months and it allows you to be able to compare the companies more accurately. So as you can see, you get all the data right here. And now what we could do is just drag it for all the companies. And just like that, you're gonna be able to get all the Canadian stock data that you need right on your Excel spreadsheet. Now you can imagine how time consuming it would be to get the same amount of data if you had to go to a site like Yahoo Finance and copy paste every single value here, it would be nuts. But there's even better stuff. So what happens if you're actually looking for real time data? Well, the cool thing is that you can get rid of this and then we can go to the wise price function. And this is a function that allows you to get real time data and historical price data. So for example, let's say that for all these companies, what we want to do is get the market cap. We're going to get the volume and price. This stuff we'll get rid of. So if I select this, I'm going to expand this. And now all you need to do is equals wise price. Again, just follow the prompts. So symbols, or you can also enter one symbol. We're going to select them all. 
and then you can do parameters just like the wise function so this is cool because in one function like this I press enter and then now I just need to change the formatting of the numbers but as you can see you get everything you want the volume we're going to change it to an actual number and then the price we can also change the formatting as well so there you go now you have the real-time data and now whenever you want for Canadian stocks or any other stock if you press refresh data what's going to happen is that all of the data will automatically update for you now you're probably thinking that's cool but let me show you something that's even better so right here within Y sheets you can go to Wise templates and instead of building your own templates even though you could do this what you could do is use an existing template and modify it to suit your specific use case so in this case we have portfolio stock trackers key metrics comparison analysis tools DCFs etc so all you have to do is just click on it and it's gonna download the template for you that already has the formula so for example here's an example of a template and as you can see it has all these different graphs and what happens is that if you go to the data tab you can see that it's getting all the data right here uh, from Y sheets using Y sheets formulas so using a mix of the Y's price and the Y's functions and now what happens is that if you go right here change the company ticker to a Canadian company all of the data will automatically update for you and in this case you can visualize the data in a very nice way same thing here you want to analyze companies in this way where you only get specific items from the financial statements and then maybe you can make some projections as you can see right here and calculate the value of a company simple all you have to do is change the company ticker change your assumptions and as you can see all of the data will automatically update for you now a key element to getting canadian stock data in excel is to know what data is available and the great thing is that right here on this page on y sheets and this is going to be linked in the description by the way you can see for the wise function this is the data that's available so if you go to the income statement here's some of the parameters and you can do the same for all these different items the only one that's not available is revenue segments so for us stocks what you can see is if you do this for apple you can see the breakdown of uh, revenue by iphones max etc but right now this is not available for canadian stocks because this type of data is very hard to get standardized reported for all the different companies that are listed but everything else that you can see you can get same thing here dividend per share and you can also see what is available on the wise price function in terms of live price data historical price data and dividend data one of my favorite types of data to get is to get dividend data and there's many ways in which you can do it and you can check out all the different ways in which you can use Y sheets on our channel we have many tutorials on the subject but I want to show you one of my favorites because it provides you with all the dividend data at once and it gives you a pretty good glance of how the dividend payments have been made for Canadian stocks so all you have to do is use the wise price function enter the ticker and then dividend and then what's going to happen is that you're going to get all the dividend payment history for that particular company so as you can see we have the date the dividend and some other metrics right here and we can see how the dividend has fluctuated over time from here of course you can calculate anything you like like percentage change or whatnot but it's very cool to see the data in this way. Altogether, using Y sheets, the possibilities are truly limitless. I mean, you can build stock trackers, watch lists, screeners, any way of analyzing a company by financials, key metrics, growth metrics, live data, dividend data, and so much more. You can create using Y sheets and you can really make your analysis for Canadian stocks customized to your own specific preferences.
Now you know how to get Canadian stock data in Excel. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications on so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's going to allow you to take your investing game to the next level. I'll see you in the next one.